When the first African Hebrew Israelites arrive in Israel in 1969, I guess the immigration officials at the border are just like, okay, uh, you're a brown black Jew. Okay, well, what do we do with brown and black Jews? Oh, yeah, we send them down to Dimona. So they send them, you know, they're arriving there, they sent down to Dimona. That's how it is, that's how it came to be that the Israelites live in Dimona. Now, when they first arrived there, because they stated that they were, in fact, we are Jews and we come back to live in the land. So, okay, sure, I guess that's also possible. Black Jews, sure, why not? So they were accorded all the rights and privileges as any other Jewish immigrant to Israel. They were given free housing, free furniture, uh, you know, all kinds of other economic incentives to make the difficult challenge of, of, of immigration a little bit easier for them and their families. So we see that um, they start establishing the beginnings of their nation, of their culture, of their community. But it didn't last long, because after about a year or so, um, local folks started realizing, wait a second, the Judaism that you claim to be practicing isn't like our Judaism. This is a different Judaism. Y'all are practicing some kind of Afrocentric form of Judaism. That's not the real Judaism. That's not authentic. And so the government gave the community an ultimatum. They said, you got two choices. Either you now convert en masse to our form of Judaism, the authentic form of Judaism in our eyes, or else you can leave. You have no right to be here if you're not Jews. Well, the community leaders were offended by this demand and they rejected it outright. And the government's response was, okay, you're not Jews in that case. And that means that you know, in that first year, a few people, some of, the, some of the early immigrants were, you know, they were mothers and fathers and grandfathers as well and grandmothers too. And so there were a couple of folks who actually died in the first year, natural deaths. And when this happened, once the government decided that you're not real Jews and we want you gone, they actually, if you can believe this, they exhumed their bodies from the Jewish cemetery and then just went to the edge of town and left them there. And what became the African Hebrew Israelite graveyard of Dimona, and it was very quickly turned into the dump of Dimona. Folks in town would go there if they had any construction, you know, garbage and they needed to get rid of, that's where they would dump it. Um, it's a really sickening story that uh, barely anyone is, is, is even aware of.